Sports Animation. Every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Cristano is a young boy who has been passionate about soccer since childhood, and dreams of becoming a star like his idol, a famous international player. Supported by his loving parents, Cristano trains hard and excels at his sport, attracting the attention of scouts from an early age, but as he grows up and climbs the footballing ladder, the pressure to succeed becomes overwhelming. He feels overwhelmed by the expectations of fans coaches and the media, and fears disappointing those closest to him. In his quest for glory and success, Cristano gets caught up in occultist practices to gain an advantage over his competitors, and to withstand the pressure. Follow. You're not ready yet, darling. It's getting late. We might be late. Please hurry. I hope you'll be at the salon. I'm ready, honey. What's that? My <laughs> belly. What's up? But you look like a tree. Darling. I don't care. I'm off to support my son. Everyone has to notice me on the pitch. I'm the mother of the school's best player. <laughs> I agree with you. Let's support our boy. Goal. Goal. Did they score? Calm down a little, honey. It's not a goal yet. We won. Yes. We've won. Congratulations. My boy. You really are your daddy's son. Isn't he his mother's son? It looks like me. Do you even know how to turn lemons on the ground to talk about soccer? You who know how to play pebbles, where are you today? Don't underestimate me. In my youth, I played very well. You were Masai's coach in his day. <laughs> Don't underestimate me, darling. I can still play, can't I? Sorry, I'd hate to see you in the hospital. I'll challenge you. Our champion arrives. I'm very proud of you today, my boy. Thanks, Mom. Dear Spectator, today is a great day for us. The whole country is overjoyed. As you all know, our country has qualified for the International Championship Tournament. And all this was made possible by our player, International Cristiano. Welcome, Mr. Cristiano. Thank you very much, Mr. Journalist. Thank you so much. It's great to see you in person today. You're always between planes, so it's very difficult to get you for an interview. You're right. But I told myself that I can't miss today's program, because it's so important. The people and all our supporters need to be reassured. Speaking of insurance, what do you promise your fans? They need to be reassured. We are not going out to fail. Our primary desire is to keep the cup at home. So you're sure to win? Even if we are not the champion, we'll still be one of the best in the league. Don't forget that I'm here to make you dream in the field, and you won't be disappointed. Dear spectators, you won't be disappointed. Here are the last words of our indispensable Cristiano. Once again, thank you, Mr. Cristiano, for reassuring us. Thanks to you too. That's my boy. That boy makes me proud. Thanks to him, I too am counted among this country's personalities. 
I hope you're preparing very well for the game. Yes, but... I'm a little afraid my brother. What are you afraid of? The teams in our pool are not small. We're going to have to prepare ourselves very well accordingly. We're already preparing very well. I think we are going to beat them. My brother, we have two opponents who never lose a match. Haven't you asked yourself why everyone's so scared for us? Really? So you think they'll win us over? Yes, if we do nothing to secure our victory, they will surely disqualify us. And don't forget that you're already on the international stage, and that all eyes are on you, so if we ever get disqualified, you'll lose your authority. This is soccer, and everything moves very, very fast. Prepare yourself well if you want to maintain your glory. Why are you so scared, man? Calm down, we'll win. In any case, I just wanted to let you know that we'd like to go somewhere and get ready. I'd like you to join us. I'm in. What a soccer field. Who's talking about a soccer pitch? I'm talking about spiritual preparation. Go do it. I don't need it. I rely on my talents. What's happening to Cristiano? I don't know myself. He refused to follow us for the preparations. He risks losing our match. Why does he refuse to follow us? He thinks he's the strongest and most talented of us, doesn't he? Have you ever played internationally? Whether we like it or not, he's the best, and he's the talk of the town. Even if we've never played internationally, that's no reason for him to think he's God. In any case, his fall will be more brutal than a thunderbolt. These boys are worthless I told you big brother. You're right, little brother. They didn't do a damn thing on the field. Even our international Cristiano hadn't done a thing. What a Cristiano. Are you still counting on that one? I'm so annoyed with him, he didn't do anything good on the pitch yesterday. But it had to be admitted that he had put in a little effort to even. What, he didn't do anything? He sucks. People just shout his name, but I don't see what he's doing that's any better than the others, eh? We lost a game we were supposed to win. This situation becomes complicated. What's happening to me? I can't even get my games right anymore. I'd lost all my energy. What's wrong, son? I hope it's not because of the match you lost that you're in such a state. Am I wrong to worry after losing a match that should propel me even further on the international stage? You're right, my son. But it's not serious yet. It's only one match. You'll have the chance to win the others. You don't understand, mom. I'm losing uphill. I'm in danger of falling. Really? My son. What brings you to see me alone? Where are the others? I came for a personal need great fetishist. All right, sit down, son. Thank you. So what do you want? First of all, how was your match? We've lost, great fetishist. This is what I told you. As long as someone refuses to do the preparations, things won't work out as planned. So it's really because of him that we've lost? Of course he was. He was the bearer of bad luck for the whole team. I knew he was going to be responsible for our failure. In fact, he's the reason I came here. Really? Yes, fetishist. I want this kid to lose his chance. He thinks he's the most talented of us all, when he's not even a real star yet. I want something bad to happen to him so he loses his little glory that's going to his head. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes, fetishist. If possible, even take his life. He prevents me from shining in my team. What exactly do you want? Be precise and concise. Do you want him dead or to lose his glory? I want him to lose his glory first. Okay, I'll help you. Please remind me of his name. His name is Cristiano. Okay, 
I'm going to give you a product that you're going to put in a shoe that you're going to give him to wear. As soon as he puts on this shoe, he'll lose both his feet. Just like that. Of course you can. I'm the most powerful fetishist on earth. Okay. But as a fetishist, it's not easy for him to accept a gift of shoes from me. He's very suspicious. In this case you have to manage to put the product in its own shoe. Even this proposal will be almost impossible. He never takes his shoes or clothes off in the locker room. You, too, can think of a way. In any case, I didn't tell you to put it in her panties or in her suit, did I? I was very precise. It has to be in a shoe or nothing. All right, fetishist. I'll manage. You'd better get it right. If you miss, it's on you. Please, my champion, can you borrow your shoe? Mine just went bad. Really? But we have finished training. Yes, but I'd still like to warm up a bit. Okay. No worries. I'll give you mine. Okay. Thank you very much. Our striker, International Cristiano, was sent off in their second match this morning. The striker suffered a foot problem in the middle of the match. He was immediately rushed to hospital. This change in the team's lineup upset the course of the match, but fortunately the national team emerged victorious. You played a very good game today. I didn't know you could replace Cristiano. You were excellent. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have won the game. Thank you very much, coach. From now on, you won't be sitting on the bench. You'll be taking Cristiano's place on a regular basis. Even after his recovery? Of course, according to the doctor's diagnosis, your colleague is not going to recover any time soon. His condition is getting worse by the hour. They even plan to evacuate him tomorrow for more specialized care. I'm really sorry for him. Well, we have no choice. We've got to keep the team going. We can't drop everything because of his accident. I understand. Yes, I've taken my rightful place. He hasn't had anything yet. His condition worsens day by day until he gives up soccer altogether, or dies. I've now become a main striker. People will start talking about me too. Now's my time to shine. Our only son was seriously injured in the middle of the match. What bad luck. Why is this happening to our son? Calm down, honey. He'll get over it. Those are the risks of his job. Don't complain too much. Everything will be alright. Are you sure? The doctor was telling me that he's getting worse and worse, and they want to evacuate him. I know, but he'll get over it. Okay. Dear colleagues, welcome to this meeting. I've called you here today for a specific reason. I'd like us to go and meet this young player called Cristano. We've got to go to his rescue. But why have you chosen this young? There are more powerful, more talented and richer people than we can make stars. I agree with the master. This young man already has a bright and successful future ahead of him. It's time for us to reach out to him and help him propel himself further. You're right, Dinakini. Let's bring glory to this young man. He's dying, but we'll bring him back to life and make him stronger than ever. All right. Let's meet him. I hope he'll be able to meet our conditions. He won't have a choice when he sees the size of the glory we're going to dangle in front of him. How do you feel, my son? I can't feel my feet, Mom. It's over for me. My career is over. No, don't say that. You'll get over it. You can't lose your career so easily. What will become of us without you? It's thanks to your career that we have a fulfilled life today. If you stop, what will become of us? 
You're our family's only hope. What do you want me to do now, Mom? I'm in an environment where weakness and ineptitude are not tolerated. As soon as someone is inactive, someone else takes their place. As I speak, I've already lost my international contracts. Even the national team has already replaced me. But let them be patient. Why are they going to replace you so quickly? You sacrificed your whole life and your studies to get the team to where it is today. They have no right to penalize you to such an extent for an accident in which you are unconscious. It's an unforeseen event. They have to understand that. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that, Mom. Soccer is an industry, so they're always looking to make a profit. An unfit player is a loss for them. I'm going to take you somewhere. If medicine can't find a solution to what's happening to you, we'll turn to spirituality. I'm ready to do anything, Mom. I really want my limbs back. But that'll be after I've been evacuated. Let's let the Federation do what they have to do first. If it works, great. If not, I'll be back so you can take me to see whoever you want. They'd better do it fast. My friend. I brought you a hypnotherapist. What's this now? The hypnotherapist is a practitioner of hypnosis. Hypnotherapy is a brief therapy that activates the unconscious mind to help you control your pain, or even make it disappear completely. And you believe that? Let's have a look. Okay, bring it in. Hello Mr. Cristiano. Hi. I will be your private hypnotherapist for one hour. Okay. I'm in the fire. My heart. What's this? So how do you feel? What have you done to me? You're supposed to ease my pain, not increase it. Why did I feel like I was in hell? You gave me more pain than I had. Oh, but how is it possible? I've always helped players and top athletes recover from their pain. Why is it different for you? You're just a poor crook. Is your delusion the reason you charge $20,000? But why talk to you this way? Get out of here. I don't want to see you. Oh, I hope you are going to sign my check, huh? I've already ordered a car in my salary's name. A poor crook like that. Instead of saying you need the money, you come to increase my sorrows. Look how my whole body burns. Get your check and get out of here. Man, I've already had my share, huh? You're too, hurry up and take your share. You've got to be kidding me. I need to find a way to scam them too. I dressed up nicely. I hope they believe me. Who's this? Enter. What the hell is this? Who the hell are you? I am your Maribot. Who brought you here? I've been told you're ill and need help. I can help you get your limbs back in two days. Are you sure of what you're saying? Please believe me. You must trust me. Okay. Where do we start? You don't have much to do. I've already prepared everything for you. I'm going to give you a talisman to put on your hip. An anointment to massage your foot every day at 3 a.m. Why do your products smell so bad? Isn't that scale matter? Smells of well-being and happiness. Smell of well-being. What the hell? Oh. Animal intestines too? What's all this? Do you think I'm going to put rotten intestines on my waist and run excrement over my body? Do you really want your feet back? Because I don't think so, the way you're behaving. Listen to me, my products are tried and tested. If you use them in sufficient quantities, you'll see the change for yourself. Pick up your check. Thank you very much. Don't forget to use the products properly. What's that strange smell in the room? Have you dirtied the air? These are products that Amarabout had forbidden me to use. My god. But they're often. Why are you wasting your money on these products, my son? You told me that the Federation wants to transfer you outside for more specialized care, didn't you? Why you're still here? They don't say anything anymore. I feel like they don't take up my time anymore. This is not possible. But why didn't you tell me? 
I'm taking you to the village today. My colleagues, it's time for us to take advantage of the situation. Our young player has just left hospital. Let's meet him. Yuki Nikini. Take one of our armored cars, and go discreetly cause an accident to this young man and his mother. But make sure no one dies. Afterwards, Sarah will go to the emergency room and bring them back here. At your service. Let it be so. We'd be in the village in a few hours. We'll see what's going on in your life today. It's all unnatural. People want to extinguish your glory but they won't be able to. They will fail. Okay, mom. Please, miss, did you witness the accident? Yes, sir. I was in the store next door, and suddenly I heard boom boom boom. Here I see a car overturn on its own on the road. You say the car overturned on its own? It's as if someone had fired a bullet into the car's tires. Did you, and did you identify the shooter's vehicle? I didn't see anyone near the car. Not even a vehicle. As soon as I heard the noise, I rushed over, but I didn't see anyone. It's like they've all disappeared. And where are the wounded? Your colleagues had come to collect them. What? What colleagues? I'm the only one in charge of this neighborhood. What are you talking about? Aren't these your colleagues? There was a mature lady in her fifties and a young man about your age. Both well dressed like you. This is not possible. Where am I but who are you? Calm down, sir, and welcome to our home. Take me home. Where's my mom? You'd better calm down, young man. We've just saved you and your mom from a serious accident. Right now, your mom is in the waiting room, doing just fine. Okay, but what do you want from me? We want to help you grow in your field. Which way did it go? Have you noticed anything about yourself? What should I notice? Calm down and focus on your body. But I'm up and about. Or am I dreaming? No, you're not dreaming. It's a reality. This is just one of the many ways we can help you, if you agree to stay with us. Really? If it's true that you've cured me of my illness, then I accept to be part of your congregation. You've made the right choice. From now on, you'll regain all the glory you've lost. All the big clubs in the world would like to work with you, and you'll be sold at a very, very high price. Really? Of course it is. You're back in the big leagues from today. Thank you very much in advance for all your help. Don't thank us, young man. It won't be free. What percentage of my salary would you like in return? Money is no object for us, Mr. Cristiano. So what do you want? You give us your mother as a sacrifice. What? How could you ask me such a thing? My son, glory has a price. Either you refuse to collaborate and your career is extinguished forever, or you collaborate and get back everything you've lost. The choice is yours, but know that as soon as you refuse, there are others who will take your place without hesitation. Because they're hungry for glory. Besides, these people will kill you as easily as they took your feet. I want to talk to my mom. Kinakini. Bring him his mommy. Okay. Do what he asks you to do, my son. No, mommy. I don't want you to die. If you die, what good would my glory be? Do it for your dad and for your future children. I accept to sacrifice myself so that you can shine in the eyes of the whole world. It's always been your dream, and I'm ready to sacrifice myself so that you can achieve it. In any case, they've already told me that I won't get out of here alive, no matter what choice you make. Go for it. Take my life. No, mommy. They're killing my mom. Mr. Cristiano. Everyone calls you the Phoenix. You've miraculously risen from the ashes. And you even helped us win the championship when we were in total despair. How is that possible? It's destiny. I haven't done anything extraordinary. But you were almost in the abyss. 
all the teams didn't want you anymore and, strangely enough, today you've become one of the most expensive players in the world. Once again, it's fate. On the other hand, many rumors are circulating about you that you sacrificed your mother to get the fame you have. Is this true? What kind of question is this that you ask me in the middle of the news? May this be the first and last time you ask me such a stupid question. In fact, I'm going to have you fired from your job. Forgive me, Mr. Cristiano. My mouth is going to kill me. But cut. Cut. Can't you see our guests getting upset? This woman dared to ask me such a question in public about my private life. She has no right to do so. I'm going to make his life miserable. Mr. Cristiano. The time has come for you to take your career to the next level, if you want to keep your glory. What else do I have to do? From now on, we want you to take the stars from everyone who comes near you. You have to multiply women and change them every day. Never sleep with the same woman twice. If possible even sleep with men to take their star too. Take note. You must never go twice with the same person. Okay. How are you, Dad? I'm fine, son. When did you arrive from Germany? I only got back yesterday. Okay. Did you get the new car I sent you? Yes, thank you very much. I also received the money you put in my account. Thank you very much. You don't have to thank me, Dad. It's my duty to make you feel comfortable. Don't forget that you're the father of one of the best players in the world. Yes, I know, my son. It hurts me so much that your mom wasn't able to enjoy your success to the fullest. It's destiny. There's nothing we can do. I also have a concern. Which one? I'll have learned that you now change wives like a glove, and spend your money on nightclubs, at all. Forget it, Dad. This is the life of a star. It's the girls who come to me. You have to be very careful. You've changed since your mother's mysterious death, and I wouldn't want anything serious to happen to you. Don't worry, Dad. I'm protected. Nothing bad will happen to me. Daughter, daughter, are you sure it's this player you want to marry? Yes, Mommy. I love him. I hope it's not because of his money. No, Mom. I'm not so convinced that this man is a devout Christian. Since we met, his Christian life has improved, Mom. I know he's not completely transformed yet, but I'm going with it. It'll come in time. I hope it's not a veiled conversion. Mom, I'm convinced that this man is the one for me. At first I didn't want to, but I don't know why the Lord chose him for me. My daughter, becoming the wife of an international player will require a lot of sacrifice. Your faith will be put to the test. Are you sure you can protect your faith? Don't forget that you'll face many physical and spiritual attacks. I know, Mom. But if God chooses this man for me, it's for a reason. So I'm not afraid. I think I'm going to fulfill my mission. All right. Thanks a lot, Mom. Queen Mother. But what are you doing here? Since you met this girl, you started going to church. And now you don't come to our meetings, and you no longer give your sacrifices. I even have the right to get married, don't I? Not without our authorization. Leave me in peace. I want to have a normal life. You want a normal life, don't you? Your glory, too, will be comparable to that of an ordinary man. My god. I can't feel my feet. How do you feel this morning? Not well at all. The doctors have just told me they have to amputate my feet in three days. So let's say my career dies in three days. It's really sad, but that's the reality. Wait. 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 They are going to amputate your limbs for what reason? I reject this statement because it doesn't apply to you. A player must have his feet to play. It won't happen to you as long as I'm alive. I fight every evil spirit lurking behind you. I overthrow them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The devil is a liar. He'll have no hold on your health. Amen. 
Starting today, we are going to begin a youth of prayer until the doctor's diagnosis changes. The Accord. What are you afraid of? Where is your faith? I'm really scared, Marie. There are things I can't tell you about my life. You don't have to hide anything from me, Cristiano. I'm about to become your wife. Then you must tell me everything or I don't think we can get married. If you ever talk to this woman about anything, we'll kill you immediately. Shut your mouth. They're still there, Marie. Who are you talking about? I can't tell you anything more. Ah. Know that all that is obscure will be revealed in Jesus' name. What brings you to see me with such concern, my daughter? Pastor, I don't understand Cristiano anymore. Everything was going normally and then all of a sudden his paralysis happened. I know what he's got isn't natural, but he's hiding something from me. Really? Have you tried talking to him? He keeps telling me he can't talk to me about certain things. It means there's something wrong. We'll find out by the grace of God. I offered to pray with him until he recovered. Because the doctors also said they'd have to amputate. What? I think a prayer of deliverance is in order. Not only am I going to join in the prayer with you, but tomorrow morning we'll be going to the hospital to pray with him. The hour is grave, my colleagues. We need to find a way to confuse this pastor and Cristano's future wife. If the two of them ever get together to pray, they could wipe out our forces. We'll destroy them. Just give me the order to kill them. Grandmaster. Calm down, Sarah. Don't go attacking them directly. Visit Cristano and ask him to sacrifice his wife to regain his strength. Cristiano. What do you want from me now? Look how you have made me. Calm down. All you have to do is sacrifice this girl, and we'll leave you in peace. You'll get your limbs back, and no one will bother you again. Get out of my sight. I will no longer accept your diabolical proposals. Leave me in peace. Take my life if you want, but don't touch a hair on Mary's head. How dare you talk to us like that after everything we've done to you. We're going to destroy you completely, and also kill your wife. My God. I refuse in the name of Jesus. I fight you in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. By your wounds I am healed. I can feel my feet again. Am I really delivered? Pastor, I've come to take you to the hospital. All right, then. Let's pray before we hit the road. Okay. Who I see like this? Wow. They want to take your life, Marie. But I refuse in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. I don't know who it is yet but they are defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. They will eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. No one will die here today. Tell me everything. Who are those? I had signed a pact with the devil to have great glory, and they had pushed me to do despicable things in the past. But since I'd met Marie I decided to give it all up, but he wouldn't leave me in peace. They've already left you in peace, my son. If you've found your feet again, it's because they've set you free. They no longer have any power over your life. Besides, they didn't have any. Let us pray. Thank you Lord for the deliverance you are bringing to your son Cristiano today. You promised and you delivered. There is no more condemnation for us who are called children of God. For you have already paid the price for all our sins on the cross. The Lord calls you back today as a forsaken woman with a grieving heart, as a wife of youth who has been repudiated. He welcomes you with everlasting love and great compassion. Jesus Christ offered himself as a sacrifice, and we were delivered and received forgiveness for our sins. Amen. The Fire We'll all be consumed. Thank you so much for always accompanying us in prayer before each match.
I never imagined that we'd be able to play a match without resorting to occult forces and black magic. At first I didn't believe it myself, but after winning matches without scarifying my arm or washing myself with smelly water, I finally understood that all those fetishists and marabouts were just lying to us to get money out of us. It was a scam. Glory to you Lord. Forgive me, Cristiano, for all the trouble I've caused you. I wanted to ruin your career, but today it's more like I've lost my sight. I'll never be able to play again. Our Lord is merciful. Give your life to Jesus. He's the only one who can transform your life. Okay, I want to give him my life, too. Get out of the way. I want to talk Mr. Cristiano. Who are you? Leave here. Let him come. He's very brave. What's your name, young man? My name is Theory, but when I grow up I'd like to change my name to Crostano like you. I want to be just like you in every way. I'm glad you want to look like me, but please, my boy doesn't look like me in every way. Promise me you'll never make the mistakes I made. What mistakes have you made? Listen to me Theory. You need to work hard on your talent to make it shine brighter. Know that hard work always pays off, and that God has already put into you everything you'll need to be the light you want to be in this world. You'll go from glory to glory, if that's God's will for you. But please, never seek your glory elsewhere than in God. God alone is the provider and author of all glory. Don't let anyone, not even your mother or father, mislead you into signing any pact with the devil to succeed. Because any glory that doesn't come from God will only be pain and sorrow and it will never last. Thank you very much, Mr. Cristiano, for all your advice. Come closer so that I can sign your jersey for you, and may God bless you. And so ends this animation. As expected, Cristiano and Marie ended up as a wonderful couple. It was a wonderful adventure for them, and they were blessed abundantly by God through several children, and Cristiano's career evolved more impressively than ever before. My dear brothers and sisters, the main lesson of this animation would be to make you understand that all glory comes from God. Excellence comes from God. All the gifts and talents we have come from God. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You don't have to sell your soul to the devil to succeed in what you do, whatever your field of profession. The devil is a thief and a liar, and whatever he gives you with his right hand, he'll take away with his left. Young Crestano was talented from then on. It was God's grace on his life. The devil had just taken advantage of his lack of faith and vulnerability to enslave him to achieve his goals. Work on yourself every day and always seek to improve what you can do, my brothers and sisters. There's no magic potion out there to take you to the next level. Only work well done. The pursuit of excellence, topped off with prayer, will make you excel. Don't forget. We have not received a spirit of mediocrity and timidity. Our God is excellent, and all glory is His. Don't forget to subscribe if you like our content, and don't forget to comment on this video and give us a thumbs up. It's a way of encouraging us in what we do. May God continue to bless you wherever you follow us. May grace be upon you, and upon all your families, and may divine excellence locate you in your daily activities. Amen. Until next time.